In this video, we're going to take a look at how we can add mixed numbers where there is carrying involved. As we add mixed numbers, we want to be sure our final answer is a mixed number which means there are no fractions allowed that are over 1. In other words, no fractions allowed where the numerator is bigger than the denominator. If you end up with something like 7 thirds, that won't work, and we'll need to do a form of carrying to account for that improper fraction. Let's take a look at some examples where we can see this carrying worked out. Here, we're adding 7 and 5 sixths, so we line up plus 3 and 3 fourths. Again, to add these, we need a common denominator on the fractions. The common denominator is going to be 12. So the 6 needs to be multiplied by 2 over 2, giving us 10 twelfths. And the 4 needs to be multiplied by 3 over 3, giving us 9 twelfths to be added together. 10 twelfths plus 9 twelfths is 19 twelfths. And then when we add the whole number, 7 plus 3, we get 10. But we have a problem in that the fraction part of this mixed number, 19 twelfths, is bigger than 1. The numerator is greater than 1, or is greater than the denominator. So what we are going to do is we are going to take this fraction, the 19 twelfths, and convert it to a mixed number. 12 goes into 19 once, and then the remainder is going to be 7. So we have 1 and 7 twelfths represents those 19 twelfths. Well, now we have 10 whole numbers, and an extra 1 whole number is going to give us a total of 11 whole numbers, and then the fraction of 7 twelfths to give us our final sum of 11 and 7 twelfths. Again, the way we got that is we took our fraction that was an improper fraction and found out what the mixed number equivalent was by dividing. 12 goes into 19 once, leaves a remainder of 7. 1 remainder 7, that corresponds with the mixed number 1 and 7 twelfths. Then we combine the whole numbers together, 10 and 1, to give us 11. 11 and 7 twelfths. Let's try this with one more example. Here we're adding 9 and 1 half, plus 5 and 7 eighths. Again, to add the fractions, we need a common denominator, which will be 8. So the denominator of 2 needs to be multiplied by 4 over 4, giving us 4 eighths, and we're adding to it 7 eighths. 4 plus 7 gives us a total of 11 eighths, and 9 plus 5 gives us 14. However, again, we see the problem that the fraction part is an improper fraction. We will convert that to a mixed number, then, by dividing the 8 into 11. 8 goes into 11 once, with a remainder of 3, and so we say that fraction part is 1 and 3 eighths. We then can combine the whole numbers together of 14 and 1, gives us a total of 15 whole numbers, and the fraction part 3 eighths left over. We have our final solution of 15 and 3 eighths. When we're adding with mixed numbers, we must be careful that the fraction part is not greater than 1. If the numerator is bigger than the denominator, we will convert it to a mixed number and then combine the whole number parts together.